control this arm. If I have the chance to go under to control it, say he, he might be holding on to his own gi, and this arm is free and I can do this, great. If I can only go from the outside, that's fine. But ideally, you, you know, he blocked. I somehow want to get underneath and get this sort of control. So he is thinking arm bar to the right arm. I'm thinking arm bar on the left arm. So the way that I'm going to do this here, stay in good base there. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, you don't have to keep me on your knees. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go on the right shoulder here. And I'm going to bridge up this way, okay? So now I started with the right shoulder. I'm going to go now on my head. And then I'm going to spike the knee and roll on my side, okay? Now I land here with the arm bar. So it's easier than it looks. So I got the arm bar there. I switched, you know, he defended somehow. I switched to this arm here. If you switch from the inside, it's better. If you switch from the outside, it's still doable, but you're going to rely on a gi. If there's no gi, the only way you can do this here is through this. Now, just imagine, my body is, you know, jackknife here. I want it to, I want my hips to come forward, so I got to extend. Extend your hips out there and come on your right shoulder in this case here. So right here, all right? After you come here, and this is hard to do it slowly, but I'm gonna try here. I'm gonna go on my head. So right shoulder to the head. As I come to my head, I'm gonna spike this knee here. So that knee will have to point down. As that knee points down, I'm gonna be on my head for a fraction of a second, and I'm gonna look to my opposite side. As I do that, my left shoulder is gonna come into play, and I roll and lower. So, any arm bar where you have the leg through here, you defend it. I switch grips here, big extension to your head, the other way. 